The icon which you see to the left of my shoulder here of St. John of Kronstadt was painted in the uh, early 60s by the now late Archimandrite Kiprian uh, Pujov, uh, Archimandrite of the Holy Trinity Monastery in Jordanville, New York. He was a very famous iconographer in our Russian diaspora. Uh, he was the uh, uh, we can call him the founder of a special school of iconography, which is known as the um, Emigre School. He studied in France when he was a layman with uh, uh, Matushka Yelcheninov. Uh, she was a, uh, the Matushka, the wife of a very famous uh, priest, uh, Father Alexander Yelcheninov, uh, whose book came out several years ago called The Diary of a Russian Priest. So Father Kipan painted this icon uh, in time for the uh, uh, canonization uh, of the Russian Orthodox Church outside of Russia, St. John of Kronstadt. Uh, he was canonized in 1964 by the Synod of Bishops of the Russian Church Abroad. The Russian Church Abroad always had a very deep uh, affection and veneration for St. John and uh, he was canonized by the Russian church uh, because uh, we knew that in, in Russia the church didn't have this opportunity because of course it was in, in the 60s and the 70s the, the Russian church in the homeland was uh, uh, unfortunately a captive church of the atheistic government. So this icon was painted in time for the canonization of St. John of uh, Kronstadt for our parish. And uh, we have uh, a little portion of uh, uh, his uh, uh, clothing, his ryasa, or, or his um, outer uh, uh, suit that priests wear, uh, also included in this icon. And uh, it's one of the most beloved icons of the faithful of this, of this parish. So we're, uh, uh, we have uh, we paid special attention to this icon uh, now because uh, in a week's time, on September 8th, uh, we will be uh, uh, unveiling and dedicating uh, a wonderful nine-foot statue of St. John of Kronstadt, which was made in, in Russia in the uh, studios of Art Project. Uh, he was... Uh, the organization of the uh, monument to here from Moscow to Washington was taken care of by a foundation called Under the Protection of the Theotokos. And we are very, very grateful to them, uh, to uh, uh, Mr. Vyunov, who donated the funds to uh, finance this uh, monument, of course, to the Russian ambassador, Mr. Antonov, who uh, Negotiated with Aeroflot to bring the monument to Russia at no to to uh, America at no cost to our parish, and at the present time we are preparing the grounds for the monument uh, to the uh, to the south side of the church, and uh, <clears throat> it will be seen by all who come to church, and uh, the monument is a very liturgical monument because. St. John of Kronstadt, there are other monuments to him in different parts of the world, but he's usually depicted as a philosopher, uh, he's depicted as uh, someone preaching, but our monument will have, will, uh, have uh, St. John uh, holding the chalice in his left hand and uh, pointing with his uh, blessing right hand to the chalice uh, so when people come to the church, they will see uh, St. John in that uh, posture and uh, will be a reminder, it will serve as a reminder to them that uh, this is the one thing needful. This is the most important thing in an Orthodox Christian's life, meaning the Holy Communion, the partaking of the Holy Body and Blood of Christ. So this monument is being erected in time for the 70th anniversary of the founding of our parish by St. John of Shanghai in San Francisco. He founded the parish on September 11th, 
1949, September 11th, is um, the Feast of the Beheading of St. John the Baptist. So on that day, during the dedication of the monument to St. John of Kronstadt, we will be remembering our patron saint, St. John, uh, our founder, St. John of Shanghai, and a great saint, Russian saint, that wh whom we very uh, much revere and venerate, St. John uh, of Kronstadt. So in other words, we'll have three St. Johns as heavenly protectors of our parish. I'm very excited about that. Father John, Father St. John of Kronstadt was considered not only to be the Batyushka of all of Russia, but indeed uh, people from all over the world wrote him letters and um, asked them to uh, uh, pray for, for, for them, uh, to, to help them heal uh, of their maladies. And St. John uh, never turned anybody away. So he was not only a uh, all-Russian Batyushka, but you, I can say a universal Batyushka. Of course, his works are translated into English, uh, My Life in Christ, you know, portions of his, of his diary, a wonderful diary, which makes wonderful daily reading for, for all people. Of course, we'll have that book for sale on the feast of uh, uh, our 70th anniversary and the dedication of the uh, monument, so people can buy uh, my, my Life in Christ in both languages, Russian and English. And of course, icons will be uh, also uh, 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 available for people to take home. And we will publish a little booklet uh, with the life of St. John of uh, uh, Kronstadt, a prayer to him, and of course, uh, a foreword by me in which uh, we explain how this monument came to be.